name is Paula and for today's lesson we're going to do a chord workout working on three note voicings as they pertain in jazz. So with a three note voicing we're going to look at these four notes okay and then rearranging them across our two hands. So we're going to bring the root note down here and we're going to start with this voicing starting on the seventh, the third and the five. Okay, and we call that a 735 voicing. So, good ways to learn these voicings. It helps us to eliminate moving around the keyboard a lot, and it also um, just keeps a nice smooth flow when we're playing through chord progressions. But we're just going to do this one voicing today. So, let's come along, come along with me, and uh, we'll practice this together. So, 735. We can play these all as major sevenths around the cycle. Let's go. So C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G. And then we're back at C. All right. So let's now change the quality of that chord and make it a dominant seventh chord. So same voicing coming from this chord. All right. Moving the root note down the bottom and moving the flat seven to the bottom. Okay. So we have a seven three five voicing for a dominant seventh chord. Okay. Let's play it. I won't call out the note names this time, but we're starting with C7, and off we go. We're going to go through two more qualities, minor sevens and also the half diminished chords as well. Same voicing, so just work with this one voicing first, okay, and then I have a fun little exercise for you after this. So minor sevens, off we go. One more exercise. Let's now do these all as minor seven flat five chords or half diminished. Okay, so we have now the flat five in there. Moving the root note below and seven, three, five. And around the cycle we go. So, so far we've looked at that one particular voicing, the 735, for major, dominant, minor, and half diminished. So, what's going to come up on the screen now is a random chord progression that uses um, any of those chord qualities in any of those keys, okay? And this chord progression, as I said, it's random. I, I pulled all these keys out of a hat with qualities. And um, it's a real test of how well you know this one particular voicing before we learn the next voicing. So here we go. You'll see this lovely chord progression come up. There'll be no answers there for you, but after I've played it, we'll put the answers up there for you so you can actually see what, what you should have been playing. So let's go. Starts on E flat major seven.
Have fun with that exercise using only 735 voicings in the right hand and root note in the left hand. Your hands will jump around a little bit, but the idea is you're really getting that voicing firmly cemented in your playing, okay? Check the link in the description that will have a PDF with more chord progressions for you to practice. If you like this video, please leave a comment, let me know how you're going, and I'll see you next time.